Hello everyone. So the topic that I chose for today is how to deal with an autistic person. So before talking about how should we deal with the person, I would just like to briefly define what autism is actually. So autism is a serious development disorder that up uh, that impairs the ability to communicate and interact. So this is something a disease or a disorder which leads to a prop not a proper functioning of the nervous system. As a result, we can have certain emotional, physical, and socially uh, problems in communicating with the other person. So now, first of all, uh, I would, as I've already said, now what could be the symptoms? Like I've already said, that they might the person who is who faces this problem or who is having this autism problem, it has a wide range of co conditions. So which includes that it's very difficult for them to communicate. And they might have a different behavior than the normal. And they might find it very difficult to interact with the public or with other people, even their family members. Yeah, so first of all, what I would like to say that how to deal with a person who is suffering from autism is the very important one is, first of all, we should recognize and accept. Because this is something that we, since the world is developing, our country is also developing. So we should just accept the fact that they are not some different human beings. They are just that they have got some special problems. So what we need to do is, first of all, we need to accept that, yes, they are different. Even the families, they should accept that if their child or any other person in their family is suffering from this problem, acceptance is very important. Because this is what will help the person and the entire family in the long run. Because this is something that cannot be... So, and yes. And the other thing that I would like to point out that how we could deal with it is being, uh, being consistent and having a patient behavior. Because since we know that these people are not able to communicate that efficiently with the public or with the family members, so we should try to just uh, gel around the way in which they talk with us. We should accommodate ourselves in the way they are taught it. And the other thing that I would like to say is taking out time is also important for the family. And if we have friends who suffer from this problem, because since we all know that this in this problem, the people are not able to communicate. They are not able to express so what is important that if we take out time for them and we just, if we, if you're not doing anything, if we just even stay with them, it could help them a lot, which could make them realize their potentials and which could lead to their development also. The experience that I would like to state here is that uh, during my college days, I was a part of a society. Uh, it was an entrepreneurship society. So where we used to, deal with people who, who were from various areas like so our there was this project which we had adopted project nirvan so in that what we had done was there were many ngos in delhi so in delhi itself what happened was NGO where there were students or where there were small children who had suffered from this autism problem so they used to stay there and then we had given them projects like and when i personally visited them I realized that, yes, these people are do different, but they have a lot of hidden talent in themselves because I could see that they could paint so beautifully. Rather, they could not talk, but they had some were really good at drawing, sketching. Some were good players also in football and all. So, yeah, what is important is if we accept this in our society and work towards their development, I think that they could also gain, they could also have a recognition in the society and they could also do something great in their lives. So I, at last, I would just like to conclude by saying that autism is not a disease. It is something that they, a person is inborn with and they are slightly different from who or what we are. So the society should accept them and should work and should help them in making their lives normal and healthy just like ours thank you very nice